so I thought it was about time that I added a new fish to the entire sea of fish tank. I asked for some ideas on the Facebook groups and as a result decided on making a box fish. I used my Vetric CNC software to design the fish and printed it off onto some A4 paper. I'm going to use some scrap maple for the fish. The first job is to glue on the printed outline so I can cut it to shape. I like to attach blue masking tape to the wood then spray glue the paper to the tape so it's easier to remove later on. Now there was a couple of bits that I wasn't quite happy with so I made a few alterations. I used my EX21 from Axminster Tools to cut out the main body of the fish. When it comes to the smaller parts I like to add my zero clearance board just to make it a bit safer to cut as sometimes the pieces can get caught in the blade hole and the sun was out this weekend so I thought it'd be nice to cut the pieces outside. I gave the main body a quick round over on the router table and a quick sand with the spindle sander. When I looked at the photograph on Wikipedia, I noticed that the box fish has lots of black spots, so I thought I could make these by drilling holes in the fish and filling them with milliput. After drilling I marked out a few lines to cut on the fins which again I plan to fill with milliput. I also had the little eye to cut out. Making the pieces thinner on the scroll saw proved trickier than I thought and at one point it was a little dangerous so after a few catches I ended up switching to a hand saw to be on the safe side. I carved a little divot into the eye so I could fill it with milliput, but if I'm honest I made a bit of a mess and I wasn't happy with it, and to be fair I probably wasn't using the best tool for the job. Then it was a quick file in between the fins and time to add the milliput. The milliput takes some sanding one set, so I used my little orbital sander and some hand sanding. I used my Black & Decker wizard to carve the fins and then a small round file to detail the mouth. I wasn't really happy with what I'd done with the eye, but I decided that I'd try and make it better once it was glued up, as it was a little bit too small to hold properly. The Osmo glue seems to set fairly quickly, so it didn't really take that long to assemble the fish. To hold everything together better, I just cut a backing board and glued everything together for added strength.
Now if I'm honest, I'm not overly happy with this project, but it is only for a bit of fun, and after a bit of detailed sanding and a good waxing, it's good enough for the fish tank. Prior to making the videos on YouTube, I worked as a firefighter for nearly 20 years, serving my community and helping to save lives and promote the fire safety message. Unfortunately, an accumulation of many upsetting scenes became too much for my mind to cope with, and after years of failed therapy, I was retired from the service on the grounds of ill health and signed off medically from any employment. To keep myself busy, both body and mind, I developed an interest in woodworking and car mechanics and with already having a hobby in filming and music, I combined my interests and started making videos here on YouTube, filming, editing and composing my own music for my woodworking and car restoration channels Smugwood and Smugwood Mini. Unfortunately, to produce such videos comes at a price, and with minimal funds after being retired from employment, I've turned to Patreon to see if there is additional support out there which could allow me to continue making the woodworking and car restoration videos. In return for support, there are various levels which are explained in more depth at the Patreon link below, but includes the chance to win one of my YouTube projects made throughout the year, and also inclusion into random prize draws open to patrons only. In addition, I'd like to thank everybody who already subscribes to my channels, or watches, comments, likes and shares them as it all goes to help support my channels, and for that I'm really appreciative. It's my hope that I can continue making the videos for the foreseeable future. Thanks once again for your continued support.